Hello guys, Shubhamiya back again. So coming off with another new ROM which has some unique name. The ROM is an unofficial build from a community itself but though it's unofficial, it holds some pretty good features and stability. The ROM is named as the Banana Droid of version Tanduk as per the community. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what all features this ROM holds for us. So at the very first time, as usual, let's move to the system information. So talking about the system information, then you can see it's running on the latest build which can be an official of the Banana Droid of version Android 13 which is having the latest security patch of January. Clicking on 13 and you will see all the details including this wallpaper which is of blur effect and all the other things. Also Android 13 is direct which is pretty much obvious. Moving further, let's look inside the Banana Droid customizations. The ROM holds some customizations too, called as the Banana Gear. The Banana Gear is a section when you will get all types of customization right from the status bar and everything else. To be honest, the customization section is something which I found similar in all of the Android 13 ROMs and I didn't found any much major changes. But the most important aspect is that though it's an unofficial build, all of the customization features works pretty much fine. It doesn't have any type of issues or any type of random restart kind of stuff. And the most important thing which I am highlighting again and again that being an unofficial. That's something really nice. You will see all type of customization such as the UI style inside themes where you can keep different type of UI as per your preference font style where I have set the Google Sans font and you can set as per your choice. All the customization features works pretty much fine and they again have included the features which are actually needed. All the other features such as Netflix spoof, unlimited photos from Google storage, all they have included you just have to enable and you are good to go. Game space is something which we will be getting into it after some time. Moving towards the Android 13 customization, then you will get all the generic customization. Talking about the widget, then there's some famous widgets of clock where you just have to drag the clock and just set the style you want and you are good to go. So that's something really good that the, all the generic features of Android 13 works pretty much fine and you won't face any type of issues with it. So moving further, it's about the lock screen and the home screen and the banana home basically so the banana home is something which is they named as the launcher where you will get all the customization you will also get hidden applications where you can just hide your applications you want so that anyone won't see it and you can only access it as per your permission in the home screen customization then you will get the all customization regarding wallpaper the community also holds some wallpaper from the side where you can just select the wallpaper from the collection and also the other section called as the unsplash where you will get all the other wallpaper so that's all they have included and that's pretty much good you will get all type of customizations no matter is android 13 or from the community and you won't face any type of issues though it's an unofficial build so that's pretty much nice for me and it will work for you too now let's jump to the gaming performance of this ROM. So talking about the gaming performance in banana gear section, moving down in the miscellaneous, you will see something called as a game space, just like you get in most of the Android 13 ROM. Just enable all the preferred settings, select the game which you want to put into it and just set all your preference such as angle, performance mode and all the things. Now let's play our favorite game that is BGMI. Clicking on that, here we go. Let's see how our gameplay goes with it, with all the options enabled from the game space. So let's jump directly to our gameplay and here we go. So this is the BJMI and I am playing in TDM. This is something 4th or 5th match I am playing and I didn't find any type of issues. The gameplay is smooth and it works in about 40 to 50, 60 FPS. So that's something really good and the banana droid will work pretty much fine with it. So that's something really good. 
Now let's talk about the battery performance of this ROM. So talking about the battery performance, once you charge to 100%, you will get about 5 to 6 hours of screen on time. This is pretty much good as per my requirement and this can change from person to person as everyone uses the uses their phone in different way with some different applications and day to day so that's something good but 5 to 6 hours of screen on time is really decent and fine with me i hope most of you will find perfect for everyday usage so yes in terms of battery too this rom fulfills all your needs now let's jump to safety net check or better known as cts bypass so here is safety net check application clicking on run test then you will see that the safety net check gets bypassed out of the box that means you can use all the finance and banking applications without any issues and there's no need to separately root this rom so that's something really nice and that's something really found in all the android 13 roms now let's snap some photos that is gcam compatibility so let me tell you guys the community have included two cameras one of these the stock camera which is the simplistic one and the one is the google camera itself with the least features so let's try this camera first which you all guys know with the minimal features yet you will find the 4k recording in it so that's something impressive but still it doesn't work for most of the people and even me so this is the camera they have included next up is the camera which is the google camera of really basic type this camera also doesn't cover all the features you really want it just covers some basic features but it's kind of okay to use but again you won't snap some pretty good pictures and some videos as per your choice and as per your satisfaction and now here comes our favorite that is the google camera which we can actually install of version 8.6 it holds all the features such as 4K, 60fps recording starting from Auto to 30 and also FHD. Including in photography, you will get all the features you ever want and you will get some crisp and dynamic range photos. So, I mean to say, you can actually use Gcam of version 8.6 on this ROM like you use in all the other ROMs and as I say, that's something really good. Though they have given two cameras for our usage but still in my vision it's really not any of the use. If you want some really good photos which is powered by the snapdragon chipset of Poco F1 then you can surely use the Gcam of 8.6 which will process your photos and videos in really good quality and that will satisfy all your needs. You will get all the settings even the developer settings in this camera application and you are good to go. So yes, you can use Gcam of your choice and you will get some pretty snappy photos in your day to day life without any issues if you are using Banana Droid of an official build. So that's big up from the community itself. Now let's move to security and direct sound enhancer. So in this ROM you will get an IR face unlock. Yes, you will get an IR face unlock as slowly all the communities are starting embedding this IR face unlock in all the Android 13 ROM. The face unlock works pretty much fine and also you will get this blinking IR face unlock which means that you will get this without any issues and it works pretty much fine. Including the fingerprint unlock works pretty fast and you won't face any type of issues until and unless your finger is dipped in water or it's kind of dirty. You will also get app lock that is you can just lock all the applications which you want for your security and only you can access it without any issues. Moving further you will also get a me sound enhancer or a direct sound enhancer. Just adjust all your settings, select the visualizer or the preset you want and the earphones and you are good to go to get some pretty bass and some thumping sound on your music. So that's something really good from the community. Now let's talk about some numbers that is Antutu scores. So talking about the Antutu scores then you will get an Antutu score of 357,000. So let me tell you guys this score is kind of unreal and it's underwhelming for me. Though I don't rely much on these scores but those who want to see the Antutu benchmark here it is. 
never rely much on this course as I do and that's all about it. Now it's time for the final words that is conclusion. So talking about this ROM then when I flashed this ROM I was in the illusion that though it's an unofficial build so it might not perform well or it might give me some issues such as random reboots and all stuff but to be honest being unofficial it wasn't such. The ROM is really really snappy and it won't give you any type of issues. You can actually use this ROM as a daily driver without any issues. No matter it is in the case if you are playing too much of games, a social media person or a normal person. For everyone this ROM suits well and I hope they soon release the official build of this ROM. So you are good to go with it and that's something really good. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then see you again next time in the next one. Till then peace out.